Teddy Ferrara is the story of a student named Gabe, who is a senior at a large state school. It's the beginning of the year. Gabe is the head of the Queer Students' Union. Gabe has a new boyfriend. He has a fellowship grant. He has a single dorm room for the first time. Everything is looking very bright for his future. And then a campus tragedy occurs that throws his entire life and his entire belief system into doubt. Gabe feels like the faculty and the administrators at the university are trying to place blame on the university rather than holding the students accountable for their own actions. And Gabe feels very strongly that this victimized outlook of students is not a good thing and that they should be held responsible for what they do. I wanted to direct Teddy Ferrara because I felt like Chris Shin, the playwright, was wrestling with enormous questions that our culture is grappling with at the moment. Questions and struggles uh, in the LGBT community that are just months old and may have answers to them in, in the days, weeks, months ahead. And I think what Chris has done by putting these huge issues in American culture into a state university and sort of a microcosm of our nation has hit on something extraordinarily moving and powerful and important. Everything that is happening in the play is happening in the world right now. I think what theater does really well is put a community in a room talking to another community and hopefully at its best a community that they don't understand and a community that doesn't really have a voice. There's such a spectrum of uh, gay characters in the show that it shows that it's a diverse population. These are not people defined by their sexuality. They're defined by the fact that they're people. You know, they love, they hate, they hurt. And hopefully the message is that, you know, gay people are people. It's a love story in that it exposes the truth about what actually happens in relationships. There's fighting and making up and all the politics of sex. Chris Frischen has really written something that mirrors that kind of interaction that happens every day. I think it deals really, really well with something that I never dealt with at that age group, which is technology and how we construct identity and how we find safe pockets on the internet and how we kind of create fantasy and what is privacy, what is public. These kids are constantly communicating you know, by text and, and electronically, which is informing a different kind of conversation. And I do worry that because they rely so much on technology, that those of us who seem uh, incompetent just seem generally inept. That how could you possibly know what's going on in my life when you can't even compose a text? It's, a, it's an entirely new insecurity that has been introduced from social media into today's youth. The play definitely explores that and how that alters interactions and how that affects the way people socialize and meet each other and love each other. It also shows the problems that happens, miscommunications that occur because you can't read tone and intention in a text. So a lot of times, you know, feelings are hurt. People feel rejected based on, you know, uh, emoticons. So I think it's incredibly complicated and really beautiful and uh, poses a lot of questions without um, easy answers. Teddy Ferrara at its heart is about young people experiencing love and pain for the first time in their lives. It is an incredibly moving and compelling drama and it's my hope that an audience can relate to these characters. They can entertain all of the different points of view that Chris is and forth in the play. And also they can see a little bit of themselves in all of these characters and what they're wrestling with, what they're trying to understand about themselves, and what they're trying to understand about the world around them.